Well, with us now is the barrister and presenter Clive Anderson, who's in favour of cameras in court, and Julian Young, a solicitor advocate who thinks they'd turn courtrooms into a circus. Um, Clive Anderson, there is a circus in the Pistorius case, as an example. Do you really want to see that kind of thing in this country? Uh, yes, it's a, it's, a, it's a gripping but grisly trial. I'd like to see how the trial is going on. At the end of the case, there'll be a, a decision, a verdict. In this case, it's a, it's a judge with her two assessors, but in, in, an, in an English trial, it would be likely to be a, a jury. And we'd like to have a, a, a notion of whether we agree with it, we see justice being done, or we think that was uh, conducted unfairly. What, what, what's wrong with us knowing what's going on in our own courtrooms? Julian, what is so wrong with that? It sensationalises, it trivialises something as important as a criminal trial when a person can be convicted and lose their liberty or their good name and otherwise suffer. And even if they're acquitted, the idea of no smoke without fire, if whoever's watching it sees whatever highlights are shown and decides, well, I think he's guilty, it doesn't matter what the jury thought, and then perhaps goes out and tries to exact, exact revenge, for example. There are, there are people who are vulnerable witnesses who've never given evidence before who don't want to give evidence. There are people who may want to grandstand. They could be lawyers, could be a judge, or it could be the defendant or the defendant's friends in the public gallery, and to cut that off unexpectedly gives a totally false impression of what is really going on. But in a sense, what we already see on our news reports, in our newspapers, are a created impression. They're already an edited version of what's actually happened. What would be so different about this? And perhaps it would be better because people would be able to watch proceedings live and uncut. Who wants to sit and watch, for example, an expert give evidence, highly technical evidence, maybe for several hours and be cross-examined. It doesn't tell you how the system works. It doesn't tell you about the standard of proof, the burden of proof, the responsibility of, of the judge, the responsibility of the jury. It, it, is, it would be so boring. Well, that bit doesn't tell you, but the rest of it does. If, people, jurors are called to sit on a jury, go along sometimes thinking it's going to be like trials they've seen in, um, in American films. There'll be advocates walking up and down, asking questions. There'll be objections sustained. At, at the very least, I, you might concede that this would be an education process for potential jurors to see how our courtrooms actually work. Clive, you can have education by a mock trial. You can have it as part of education of children in schools, what happens by going to a yeah, crown well you court Yeah, you watch. do mock trials, but you, you yes. show it to dozens of people at a time, but this is for millions of people to see. But they will not see what's actually happening all the time. They're not going to sit for a whole period of time, from 10 in the morning till 1 o'clock, from 2 o'clock until 4.30, to watch the whole of a trial from beginning to end. They'd be bored out of their minds. Can I make a point about televising Parliament? Because this argument was raised. Well, the, sa the same but... argument. They, from 1975, they introduced putting radio microphones into the House of Lords. It took to 1990 for the House of Commons to say, all right, let's put... I don't know if you have many young viewers you have, but young viewers, what is, what's he talking about? He many, didn't have, many, many, didn't many, have cameras in Parliament. Nights. What do you mean? Prime Minister's <laughs> question time went on without the public saying... All these objections are raised how? to Parliament. It would grandstand... But, but, how, how many people are going to watch... Out. How many people watch BBC Parliament? Uh, Relatively it, 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 few. Many, many people. But there is an, a very important point here, though. Mm. Does it not risk people changing their behaviour in the way that politicians change their behaviour when there's a camera around? People all behave differently when there are cameras well, around. Well, uh, and couldn't that affect the outcome of a case? There are, there, there's a point there. I think those, those things were said about P, uh, MPs in Parliament, and I don't think anybody can now say whether MPs' behaviour has got better or worse because of the cameras. This is a justice system, yes, of not a yes. rowdy uh, debate. Well, lots of cases are tr uh, put on uh, camera around the world, and it seems to work in uh, lots of other countries. Uh, an example I uh, gave when I was somebody talking about this, uh, Louise Woodward was an English girl, an English nanny on trial in America, Boston, uh, Massachusetts. And there was, there was some, some doubts about how fair the trial was. And as a result, there was a lot of interest. Now, if she'd been on trial in uh, Boston, Lincolnshire, we'd have never seen it, we'd never have that interest, and she probably would have spent rather longer in prison than, well, than Julian, she had to. I mean, would, would you say that an American case like that, or in the South African justice system, would you contend their systems don't work? They're not as good as ours because they have allowed cameras in? I don't think whether a camera is there or not shows whether a system is working or not. It's whether you're going to educate the public. What are you going to tell them? What are you going to teach them? And the dangers that may flow from the public seeing something. Let's take a defendant who's got a difficult personal life, perhaps young Mr Pistorius. He's had a very difficult life. He has certain social disadvantages. He's, he's disabled. If other inmates in a prison got to watch that on television, realise he is weak, 
if he is convicted and sent to prison, especially in this country where prisoners are quite often very cruel, the danger would be they would pick upon that person having been put into the prison system. Are you just not rummaging around for reasons not to, to proceed and make a change? No, I'm, I'm frightened of something, I don't know, legal idol, making this into a, a television spectacle yeah. where you almost can vote press the right button on your, on your remote control and you can vote for a guilty or not guilty I, verdict. I don't think that's really the pro proposal. I think the, the judge and the jury are still going to take the decision. It's just that we, it's a public place, a courtroom, as it is as a public gallery. They, if there are people who want to interfere with witnesses or find out about defendants, they can be there anyway. It's reported in the papers. But they can go if they're that interested. They yeah. can go to court and watch the real thing yeah. without it being televised. Television is not real. It is in another dimension. It's a bit more immediate though than waiting for Clive Coleman or somebody else to come out onto the old Bailey, the street, True. and say, oh, there the, was a nasty question asked there and there was a, a hesitation and how he... We want to see the, the actual process. Just very briefly to, to both of you, <laughs> do you think, given the way the flow of information is speeding up all the time, anybody walking down the street with a smartphone can take a picture, they can tweet what they like about who they see outside the old Bailey or mm. anywhere else, do you think actually you will be able to hold the line. This is going to happen one day, isn't it? It may happen one day, but there will have to be a lot of checks and balances to make sure it is completely fair and there are no dangers to the concept of justice. I think, it'll I think it'll happen one day and in 10 years' time we'll play back this conversation and you think, <laughs> how, how antediluvian backward-looking I was. You can tweet from court now, that's been, that's been allowed, ahead of televising well, it. We'll, we'll televising make sure that it. we keep very careful um, care of this tape of this discussion tonight <laughs> and maybe we'll have a look in a decade's mm. time. Thank you both very much indeed for coming in.